Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to another episode of Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, the Orgasmic Body Whisperer. And today's topic is around your body, money, and living orgasmically. And what the heck do these things have to do with each other? (laughs) I'm actually super excited about this topic as I am about all of the topics that we cover. Um, But this one, most importantly, because it's, it's something that I've noticed in all of the conversations that I've been having recently with people around bodies and creation and what they'd like to have in their lives. So living orgasmically or orgasmic living is about the creation of your life and your body. I also like to say, about the creation of your life with your body. And what I've noticed is that a lot of people have the point of view that they need to go out and make money and then they'll invest in their body. Let me go handle my business and then when I have the money, then I can invest in my body. Whatever that is, whatever that is for you, and we'll talk about that in a second. And this is one of the most everything is the opposite of what it appears to be moments that I've ever seen. What if investing in your body is actually what is going to contribute to your life? Investing in your body is what is going to contribute to your relationships. Investing in your body is what is going to contribute to your money flows. You guys, money is about receiving. Receiving from the universe, receiving from people, receiving as if by magic. And in order to receive, you have to be relaxed. You as a being have to be relaxed in the space of you, and your body has to be relaxed in order to receive. Now, I'm going to give you some examples to illustrate this. I had a client um, that when he came to me at the time, he was couch surfing and he had a little business that he was working on and um, he was couch surfing because he didn't have have the money. He didn't have the money. So we kind of flipped it and started working on uh, his body and what it is that his body desired and what it is that his body wanted to wear and what it is that his body wanted. And when he started investing in his body, I think once he was also even telling me that he actually had invested in a really yummy um, underwear (laughs) that was super soft and silky and hugged him in all the right places. And when he walked around with this underwear, even though he was the only one that knew that it was there, It just created an energy between him and his body. He started investing in um, better haircuts, right? With someone who would actually be nurturing for his body. So he went from couch surfing to creating a home that he loved to live in and to owning multiple businesses. So again, everything is the opposite of what it appears to be. When you invest in your body, then you're, the, the energy that gets created between you and your body creates the space and the energy for you to receive more. And that includes money. Another example that I wanna kinda give you guys is like, let's say you are really achy and stiff and your body's kinda tense. What do you think it would create if you invested in a massage, if you invested in a chiropractic session for your body, would your body relax? Would all of that achiness and stiffness dissipate? And then in that space of relaxation, would you be able to receive more? Hi everyone, hi Jean, hi Jocelyn, Kinga, Robbie, welcome. Another example that I wanna give you guys is What I've noticed in the work that I do, which um, I work with people that also have had a lot of trauma in their lives, and what I've noticed is that in that trauma, there is a contraction 
that is happening between the person and their body, between the person and the world, between their body and the world. And in that contraction, it makes it really hard to relax and to receive. And that includes money, that includes receiving kindness, that includes receiving generative relationships. So if you're someone who has a lot of trauma locked up in your body, what can you choose that would nurture your body into relaxation? Breathing, relaxing, receiving. Money is about receiving. I know for myself personally, um, the more I invest in the nurturing of my body, the more money I make. Now this may sound strange, right? For some of you who are like, man, I'm, I'm scraping for pennies here. How am I gonna invest in getting a massage? That's such a luxury, like what are you talking about? And ask your body. Ask your body what would be generative for your body? And what could you invest in for your body that would actually create more for you in the long run? I've often spoken about having like a body love team, you know, a, a team of people in your life that are there just to like love on your body and nurture your body. And my team keeps growing and growing, but I just wanted to kind of tell you guys, I invest weekly in um, massages, chiropractic sessions, acupuncture, um, I work out, I have a fit body boot camp that I attend when my body feels like it. I do pole dancing, uh, my body loves cycling. I, I'm, I'm a member of all of these different places and every day is an adventure with my body about what it is that she needs to relax, to unwind, to receive. I also love going to sweat, I love floating. <laughs> my body and I have a myriad of options and possibilities to create that generative nurturing energy between me and my body. And again, the more money I invest in my body, the more money I receive. When your body is relaxed, and just take a moment now and just breathe. Get present with your body and allow your body to relax. From that space of relaxation, more can be created. More can be created, more can be received. The return on investment with your body is going to be greater than anything you could have imagined. I have to tell you guys because my bed is yelling me right now that she would like to be spoken about. Here's my bed. Beautiful, this is actually my bedroom for those of you that didn't know. And I do my Facebook Lives in here because it's the best lighting and apparently my bed would like to <laughs> be out in the world. But I have to tell you guys, so between um, about 2014 and 2017, I spent most of those three years traveling. And that meant a lot of hotels and a lot of Airbnbs and some not very comfortable beds. So when I chose to settle, not settle, when I chose to um, put some roots down in one particular area of the country, I knew that one of my biggest investments in my body and in my bed was, and it, one of the biggest investments in my body was going to be my bed. So that beautiful creation that you see right there is about $7,000. and. When I look at my bed, it relaxes my body. When I even think of like, oh my God, I can't wait to curl in my bed tonight and like relax and let go, that alone relaxes my body. Between the um, weighted blanket that I have, the yummy sheets that I invested in, the bed which changes position, so if I need a little zero gravity position, then, then she does that for me too. Apparently my, my bed is a woman, there you go. Um, what else? There's a massager in there. And so when I, first of all, when I even just make my bed, it makes me happy <laughs> to just walk by the bed every day. I receive energy from this bed every day, every morning, all day long. And then when I rest in the bed, 
which is for my body because if I didn't have a body, I wouldn't need a bed. When I rest in my bed, I wake up refreshed, happy, relaxed, and ready to take on the day. So this isn't just about investing like in massages and stuff like that, but look around at your home. If you didn't have a body, you would not need a home. So what is the space that you can create for your body that invites and ignites that nurturing, caring energy between you and your body? When you, um, what's the word? I guess I'll use invest again. When you invest in cultivating, that's the word. When you cultivate that energy between you and your body, that will open the space for you to receive more. If you're continuously functioning um, in that fight or flight or that freeze or whatever that is that is for you, then there is no relaxation in your whole universe. So what can you choose today? What can you create today? What can you invest in today that will create that generative orgasmic energy between you and your body that will then open the doors for money to flow in with ease as if by magic? <laughs> Again, this is one of those, everything is the opposite of what it appears to be moments where you think that you have to first make the money so that you can then invest in your body. But when you invest in your body, then your body can contribute to you generating, creating, and receiving more money as if by magic. Thank you all for joining me today on this episode of Orgasmic Living. I invite you to grab my free gift, the six keys to living a life that is orgasmic or something like that. I actually just forgot the title. How does it get better? But I know the web link, pattyalfonso.sexy slash six keys. Enjoy. And what can you create with your body today? I adore you all. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week for another episode of Orgasmic Living. Mwah. Bye for now.